Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to check in on the price action of VeChain, as the VeChain bulls are gaining more and more strength. Is there a new all-time high on the horizon for VeChain? I'm going to pull up this chart and show you what I'm looking at. All right, VeChain here up on the daily chart. So toggling straight into the price action here, I see that the bears have been unable to do any considerable damage to this chart. In fact, I still see daily uptrend in progress with uh, higher highs being printed as well as higher lows. It's also notable that no candle body closures have come in below the yellow 21 exponential moving average. At the time of recording, uh, the 10 simple moving average is continues to pick up price action and uh, any chart where the 10 simple moving average is picking up price action is uh, very, very strong strong behavior. The bulls uh, continue to, to creep the price action up towards the top side of this liquid zone here, and that's coming in around 0.032. If VeChain gets any daily candle body closures up above that level, followed by daily candle body opens on strong convincing volume, then I think VeChain is going to be postured very nicely to make a new all-time high. In the event that that happens, one of the first areas of interest that I'll be paying attention to is the two spot 618, and that's coming in around 0.036 cents. Getting any daily candle body closures up above that level followed by daily candle body opens and then i think v chain is going to be ready for another pretty significant move to the upside toggling down to the rsi i see that the rsi is still under a little bit of pressure right now as the exponential moving average is sloped to the downside but it does look to me like the rsi would like to test that exponential sometime in the very near future I'd like to see the RSI get a confirmation close up above that exponential moving average, and I'd like to see that happen at the same time as VeChain taking out the top side of this liquid zone. In the event that that happens, then I believe that the bulls will have plenty of ammunition to be pushing VeChain up to the uh, up to new all-time highs. Stochastics down below. Also, uh, I mean, they're trying to get that fresh cross to the upside, and they did come into the edge of the bullish control zone. So the very the very fact that the stochastics are still living in that bullish control zone is definitely another point on the board for the bulls. I would like to see that the stochastics get crossed to the upside here and again they'd be rhyming with the rsi assuming that the rsi takes out that exponential and then again this would be signaling uh, buy pressure entering once more and having buy pressure come in at such a critical level right now is uh, is indicative that there could be there could be a break to the upside soon i mean overall my bias is to the upside at the time of recording down below here in the macd <clears throat> macd uh, the, the, the moving averages seem to be finding support. The, the fast line is finding support upon the slow line here. Uh, really weird, uh, really weird island of of, uh, of positive momentum here on the histogram. So there's not really much to be going off of here. Pretty much just a nothing burger on the MACD. But all in all, if this price action keeps up and VeChain continues to move sideways, even within inside this liquid zone here, then I think the case for the bulls is getting stronger and stronger by the day. Now, if VeChain is to roll over here and get any daily candle body closures below that 10 simple moving average, which is coming in around 0.029, and then I think another test of the 21 would be in order. Uh, the, the 21 is currently living down around 0.027 <clears throat> and likely uh, likely a wick off that at the very least. Getting any daily candle body closures below this horizontal here, which does come in around the 2.5 cent mark, then uh, I'd be looking to the 30 to pick up price action similar to what it did down here. If that is to fail, then likely a test of the top side of this liquid zone, which is coming in down around 0.023. And the 55 exponential is uh, right down there in, in at the time of recording in perfect confluence with that zone there. So at the very least, that would likely be a bounce. But I do think downside is the least probable scenario right now. It is a possible scenario. There's always possibilities looming for every probability. But at the at this point in time, uh, upside is uh, looking more and more probable. So let's see what happens here. Uh, we, it's Monday today. The trading week has, has now opened. And things all in all are looking really good. Of course, I'll be keeping an eye on this chart. And I'll bring you guys updates as anything significant begins to unfold within this chart. Anyways, you guys, thanks for so much for coming by and checking out this video. Have yourselves a powerful day.